All right, boys, we are live. Second that was, friend. Everyone, that was, everyone, 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 inhale and exhale. Yeah. <sighs> Money mindset. What? Uh, I think that's probably been our most interactive one. You always say that, Viraj. And, I know, and, I always um, say that. Yeah. But I think this week has been our most <laughs> interactive <laughs> one. But yeah. do you know what, though? Like, I, I know you say it jokingly, but I mean, this it's just amazing that we, we get to do this on a weekly basis and just connect with people and share, unlock stuff, share perspectives. And like, it's just, it's very transformational. I, I, I'm struggling for words right now. I'm just going to hand it over to Saga. Hot potato, over to you. No, I mean, yeah. I, I am lost for words. I, I, I think he's, people that shared stuff today um, has, has given a lot of insight um, into not just everyone's um, different views. And I think we have, you know, the good thing is we, we have to take all these views um, on point and, and actually reflect and understand it because there's no point you know, and then the good thing is, we, hopefully, like, you know, in this whole space, we don't want to forget people's views. And that's why we're saving the chat, right? Because it's always good and um, uh, to reach out. And I think Manoj also said it, that don't feel um, that you can only come and reach out every two weeks. Yeah, um, you know, you've got our details. We're on Facebook. You can message us on Mindful Men's Club if you want to reach out to us individually. Um, please don't feel you have to wait two weeks to sort of um, not vent, but, you know, sort of just let everything out. You can actually just call any of us or, you know, it doesn't or any of the members. Right. Um, if you feel like you've connected to them, then that's one thing that I'm going to say. Please don't wait two weeks. You know, um, and there's so many shares today. And I've, I've realized that they must have been waiting for this moment when actually if people shared last week or people shared when we weren't online it doesn't mean that you have to wait every saturday call us on a weekday evening you know we'll make the time um but yeah i just yeah it was a, it was a very very uh, good session and i'm sure um viraj has uh, saved the chat so if anyone wants a copy of that um just yeah please do sort of reach out guys i'm, I'm gonna pass it over to Havan because i literally have no words for today it was, it was a very deep topic yeah um, I thought it was a, uh, it went really well today. Um, 20 people I counted, so that was quite good, actually. One of our higher attendances. So, um, yeah, we spoke about money mindset and how it's important to be aware of your thoughts, feelings, and how you um, take actions with your money as well. Um, key was, like, you could spend it in a good way. I think that was the theme coming. You can spend it in a bad way. Um, you just need to be aware of what, which one you're doing and why you're doing it and what you're trying to achieve. Um, and then, yeah, I think what everyone shared was just amazing. Lots of tools, tips, um, how you should just forget about chasing money and how it comes to you when you do that. And Sagra That's had a great contra- example of that. <laughs> That's almost a contradiction. If you chase it, it's yeah, like a anchor, right? That success is a butterfly. If you chase after it, you'll never land it. But if you sit in stillness, it'll come to you. And it's, I think, I think all of us have like a money story that we've had of this, you know, growing up in culture and society that we live in. And the idea of actually when it went into sort of are we consuming or investing? And what are we doing with our money? Are we going after our wants or really fueling our desires? And I don't think many of us have been educated in that way that money is an energy like just like time just like you know it's a resource that you can invest into that's going to give you back something even more of that and the idea of like financial freedom what does that mean to people what is everyone's metric of success and how does money tie into that like i think you know someone shared in the chat that there was people that complain about money are spending coffees at Starbucks for four pound a pop, and then wonder why they're, where their money's going. So it's these little things that are people even conscious of. Like are we just doing all these little things, and then when it comes to something big, we're stuck. Or are we just ticking boxes for some short-term gratification that then prevents us from something even more meaningful later? Like are we are we spending money on like are we spending money on things, or are we, or are we investing in experiences that light us up and provide us with a platform to serve at a higher level 
Yeah, and we looked at it the other way as well when everyone started talking about how it would be to have, you know, win the lottery and um, have loads of money. Like, it just, what you're, what essentially everyone was saying is what you're trying to get to experience things in your life. And that's why you need the money essentially. And depending on what, how much money you have, you're just going to be chasing at that level um, the things you want, basically. So it's, it's all about the, the feeling that you're chasing, the happiness feeling, the achievement feeling, the success feeling, um, just achieving a you know six digit bank account, that's a feeling to someone. But what the idea was is you can get those feelings from any activity, it doesn't have to be money. You can just follow your passion and get all of those feelings and then money will follow. Um, yeah. Just seeing it as a tool, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than end, end, um, end of the journey, end result but it's something along the way that will help you. Yeah. No, definitely. I think, um, I think um, just something I wanted to share is that, um, first of all, uh, immense gratitude for all the men who showed up today um, and contributed in each and every way uh, through chat. There was, I mean, I think there was like, a, you could write a book, book, book about the, uh, the amount of chat that we had today. Um, everyone who showed up on the video as well. Um, it doesn't make a difference how you show up on the chat video. Uh, we value your contribution equally. It was such an important topic. The most important word for me was the second word of our topic, which is uh, mindset. Um, and, and that's what Haban um, was alluding to, that um, once you have the right mindset, everything does actually fall into place. And we all have a money story in our life. We all have a whether we admit it or not, we will have a money story in life. We either went from a survival mode, we may still be in a survival mode, um, and there's nothing wrong with that because that's what's happening in your life right now. And some of us might be in a thriving uh, mode right now and, and, and attracting financial abundance. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just, it's all relative. And something that came out, which is quite uh, important, is that everyone's relationship with the money is completely individualistic and um, nobody can compare or judge or have any expectation it's individual to each individual and something else that came out about today's topic is money is definitely not evil uh, contrary to what everyone thinks it's just a mode exchange of energy um, that that's all it is right fundamentally it's a tool and uh, we covered uh, where there wasn't money um, to give an example uh, I think Kenya still actually is one of the few countries where the barter system actually operates, where uh, before there was currency um, formed, there was an exchange of goods and services, essentially exchange of time and energy, right? If you want to break it down in, even deeper into that. And um, it was so fascinating that we, we always go, we never know where the conversation goes, right? Because the conversation is never scripted. So that's what I love. Like we, it's so free flowing. And today was another deep one i think it's fair to say we're gonna leave it there we can't obviously talk about the specifics of the conversation um because that's what the private chat is for that we set up for you guys so if you want to come to the private chat please lock into our sessions we've got four more sessions planned i think four or five i can't can't, can't see the screen right now but four yeah 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 and and please lock into that and and, and share and yeah it was just another fascinating subject especially in the current climate with people you know my wife's been furloughed I'm sure it's, I'm sure every single person or someone who's either been furloughed or made redundant or looking for a job or their business is impacted right now right it's not it's not possible to be in one of those four categories and it's quite tough right you know and 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 and, and some of the tools and tips that um, everyone shared even if it's one tool and tip that shares that someone shared that might help you get out of that situation and shift from a um, I can't remember who said it, but we touched on it, didn't we? Have a, from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, almost like a lack of to a abundance of, um, and, it, and it's just believing that it is there. Um, we won't go too much into it because 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 uh, we, we'll go too very uh, yeah. out there. <laughs> but but um, but session anybody, us sorry, right having a capella session between all of us right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, we can go super, super deep because we all vibrate on the same uh, frequency, right? It's fair to say that all four of us, that's why we're all aligned in, in, in our approach and our thinking and where our energy is spent. And I say energy spent because you can spend your energy on the wrong things and the wrong people and you can spend your energy on the right things and the right people. But no one, but that's up to you because it's your energy, right? It's precious. It's like time is precious. Um, but you can give someone your time Here's the thing. You can actually give someone your time and not be present in the moment. Yeah. But you've lost time and you've lost energy. Yeah. Yeah. 
have you noticed when you're in conversation uh, with someone and, and you and, and and you know they're there but they're not really listening to you right so that's not being real that's not being authentic so that's why I, I i use time with energy i don't use them separately like i can give you my time but i can definitely not give you my energy there's two different things yeah um, it's um funny how um even something came up where during this time right now that we're experiencing it's like a one-off event and what we've actually realized is anyone who has a mindset of lack of money that there is lack of money in the world it's just been disproven right now because all the government is doing right now is printing continuous money and giving it to everyone who needs it <laughs> in the us in the uk everyone so there isn't actually like if some if things do go completely tits up like they have just print more money so there is never a lack of money if you think about it that we've all we have to do is pay the printer bills really <laughs> and we got continuous supply of money interesting what that throws up is that yeah. let's say before lockdown for whatever reason people had a scarcity mindset about about money and and where they were and what they could do and where there are certain restrictions etc cetera, etc cetera. and now to me what i've observed just to say in terms of that is that actually it's always been there there's no cap on how many billionaires there can be in this world there's no restrictions on who can have what except what you're prepared to do and what you're willing to let go of up here about your beliefs about money and then apply yourself because you can have positive affirmations you can meditate all day long but if you don't take the actions or if you don't take the opportunities that reveal themselves who, who who's responsible for that right and that's and that's fundamentally one of the crux of the conversation we went really really deep right it's not okay just to go on amazon prime and watch the secret right or read the book the secret and then expect everything to fall into place yeah that's fundamentally absolutely flawed concept right that's you hoping yeah that, that that's not see affirmations goes hand in hand with action yeah yeah and I think we all we, we all agree to that. You can have daily affirmations and not get anywhere in life, right? Because you don't have the actual daily perpetual small steps that you're taking to get you to where you need to get to. And those small steps might be a shift, like what, what I haven't touched on earlier in the talk, it might be a shift in consciousness, which mm -hmm. is uh, even though I don't have uh, money, I'm going to attract it. I'm going to believe instinctively that I do have money. And then what's the action I'm taking with it in your job or in your business or whatever you're doing um, um, to survive or thrive. Because we've got, we all know people who are millionaires and, and some are uh, um, billionaires, right? But they're the ones who are the most unhappiest. So something else that we talked about is what's our actual relationship with money. And it's almost like doing, um, um, I think as you Raj mentioned it, I think one of the guys mentioned it is uh, to do like a, uh, apologies if I got that wrong, but I can't remember who recommended it, but it's to do an audit of your, that's the yeah the um, it was about what expense did you have and how did it make you feel yeah it was just it was just basically at a high level um doing a audit like you like you would do a social social audit for example with social media you do um you know, you, yeah you do like an energy scan to scan where you are in a vibrational frequency this was almost like an audit in terms of where i am in my money mindset so am i actually uh saving money uh, for the future um, or am I spending money um, and it's okay to spend and something else that we touched on is spending with intention so for example uh, I won't mention the person who mentioned it because I think it was a private share but somebody shared where if I if it's a nice summer's day and I want to buy a convertible right I'm buying a convertible because I want to experience um the, the breeze if that makes sense the, the summer breeze and driving through a country lane and then having a convertible but then the exterior judgment and expectation of that to everyone else is oh look he's got a convertible does he need a convertible and then the people who say that it's actually revealing lack of and insecurity of what they have but even if the guy wanted to buy it from a materialistic gain it what's wrong with that nothing right it's, it's funny how we attach we judge others. So much expectation and judgments to it. Yeah, yeah. So that I thought I thought that was a fascinating share. I mean, there were so many fascinating shares, but it's it's funny how we judge people, right? And how we grow up thinking, like in school. Do you remember, like, oh my god, I I think I got slapped when I said to my mum, I want to buy um, 
uh, trainers and, and, and she said, uh, uh, how much are they? And I remember this because they don't make them anymore, but I remember the exact names showing my age now, but Nike TWs, right? Red and white trainers, they cost 50 pounds, 50 pounds. Do you know how many paper rounds I had to do? <laughs> I, had to, I had to do five weeks of paper rounds to save up. And then I realized it was the worst thing I ever spent my money on. <laughs> because, because when you go through the journey of earning money yourself and not given to it, not given to you on a plate, you realize how much it took you to get there. But then you realize, why did I buy that product in the first place? Was it to make me happy? No, it was, it, was, it was to fit in with the crowd. It was because other people had expectations of judgment. And um, it's crazy. Like my kids, like, who is it? I'm not going to, oh, no, he's, I don't know. He's not on Facebook, so I can pick on him. But, but my older son, Shailen, is like, oh, dad, I want to buy trainers, right? I'm like, yeah, cool. Where's the money? He's, he said, huh? I said, where's the money? Have you, have you made the money? Have you saved the money? Have you invested the money? He said, I'm 15. I'm like, so? <laughs> I'm not going to discriminate against your age. When I was 15, I was hustling, <laughs> right? But that's a different story. But no, on a serious note, no, no, no. I, I, do, I do look after my kids. <laughs> I don't want to go on Facebook Live thinking I'm not appreciating my kids. But the whole point of the story is that I wanted to attach the journey of how and what and the energy and time it takes to earn and attract that money for then when he spends on whatever he wants to spend it on, it's okay because I'm not going to judge you for spending on, because I was you when I was 15. It's right? about distinguishing between earning and entitlement as well, right? Expecting something. Yeah. From, and then actually, yeah, when you yeah, go yeah, through exactly. the journey, I think yeah. it initially was to fit in with the crowd, but actually you probably connected to, and I'm just saying it, that that 50 could, could have gone a, a further way somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. It's like the marshmallow the test that they give to kids, way. right? They say yeah. to kids, right, I'm going to give you one marshmallow now right and google this this, this actually exists right they do this in, in universities etc if you wait one hour i'm going to give you three marshmallows now the child who picks the latter is you know instinctively that that's going to be the child who's going to get far in life right because the first person is the person for short-term game gain sorry and that's okay because the social conditioning that that child has brought, brought been brought up in is taught him or her that I need to get where I need to get to very quickly, and that's it. And I need to have a self uh, gratification moment right now. The other child is smart, thinking, "Hang on a minute, I could probably sell two marshmallows to another two kids and still eat the marshmallow." So I got three, right? It's just it's fascinating how, and 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 the slide that Haven brought up is about thoughts, the thought loop. Right? It was a whole thought loop, wasn't it, Haven? It was thoughts. It was your relationship with your thoughts, and then it was your feeling of what your actual um, um, thoughts become. And we've covered this in quite uh, a deeper session um, previously, but money mindset is linked to every single thing we do in life, right? We can't not talk about money. Now, I, you're, you're, you're right. And I, but the, the thing is, is and, and this is brought up something um, which was mentioned in our, um, in our live today. I don't know. See, this is what I'm saying. It's like when I was, when I was talking to you about when I was married, right, and and all I kept thinking about was money. And that's because we we are unfortunately conditioned in that way, and I'm hoping that the new generation actually do not think about money too much, right? And there's nothing we need money. I'm not saying we don't need money, and I think there was something about um, that was mentioned about in exchange, right? Now, yeah, 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 and which I do understand, like time and money and, and the whole mindset around it but when you're going to do something you should never do something expecting an exchange for something right and i think that as long as people know that because otherwise you know what i'm not going to lie to you i would have been loaded by now just in lockdown because i would have done all these thursday nights and i'm not going to lie to you mate thursday just gone you know when i was doing the live bollywood night we finished at two o'clock in the morning I started at 7.30. Now, if I was in that mindset of, okay, I'm going to do it and I'm going to get money for it. Actually, I don't think, I, I, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much. However, yeah. weird Absolutely. that I didn't charge anything for it, but I, I could have kept going. I had to shut it off because I was like, it's two o'clock. These guys that's, are asleep. That's fundamentally, the, that's fundamentally the point, brother, isn't it? It's that's like, what's your intention? What's your intention behind what you're doing? And is it coming from a place of service, right? 
yeah because obviously you know and but, but then there's a but then there's a fine line between when do you do something for charity and when do you do something because it's your roof over your head you need to pay your bills so i think there's a distinction between the two and that's where accountability comes in because if, if you can serve and, and you know what you're doing is incredible but you're not doing it for the sake of accumulation you're doing yeah. it something that you want to do and put out there Absolutely. whereas the paradox to that sometimes is when someone comes to you and says i want this from you and I don't want anything and I don't want to invest anything or give anything in return or pro forget, let's say barter, let's just say, right, I need you to help me with this. And there's, and I'm not going to give you anything in return. Now that's your choice. And similarly, it's also understand what is it that they want? And is it something that you can give them? And where's the accountability? Because sometimes you can give something for free, let's say, but the person may not value it as much either because there's no skin in the game. And that's taking time, energy, and leveraging your own personal experience, which has taken time, energy, and money, and almost devaluing it. So, it's so, about what, so, so what, you're, what you're talking about, Viraj, right, just to kind of play devil's advocate, what you're talking about is your livelihood. What Sagar is talking about is service uh, attitude, yeah? Um, Not really, no. So if someone comes to me and says, Viraj, I really need your help with something, um, let's say it's something to do with my livelihood. And I'll understand, before I just give my help for free, totally. And to a certain extent, I will always do that. But at the same time, it depends on the other person's intention. If they want a shortcut without the accountability, am I really serving that person by giving them my time for nothing? They have not got any skin in the game. How likely is it that they're actually going to take the help? There's wanting the help, but there's taking the help. And I know you've I think, I think Sagar is going to say something on the other side. Go on, Sagar. <laughs> this is going to go on, right? I'm just saying, because I'm being mindful. Look, but, that, I understand, but then you saying, uh, so I understand what you said, right? But then that's, that's you putting that thought into your mind is, am I actually serving that person, right? But you don't know that. Even if you charged someone, you're still going to have that thought. Do you, do you see what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're, uh, there is no wrong or right. I agree. It's understanding the intention. <laughs> understanding the intention of the other person. If, if someone wants a quick fix solution to something and I'm prepared to give it to them, I will always give it to them. I, I, I very rarely say no, probably to my own detriment. But I also recognize at times that sometimes saying the yes doesn't serve both parties anyway. So it's got there, a, there definitely there definitely is a balance and there's a time and place i think that that's true right because you can because because then we're going to come back to the whole uh plane scenario where if you're going to give oxygen to every single person who's on the plane and you don't and you starve yourself from giving yourself oxygen then what good are you if you're not alive i mean that's the real extreme example but that but there's a balance i think there's a balance there um we great can talk about this. Answer, I think I, I have a feeling we're going to have a private call about this after this live. I can just sense that. I just, I just want to add on to this, uh, um, one I heard the, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, rather, about the Coast Guard. So when there's like a shipwreck, the Coast Guard land the helicopter in the sea. And they're like, okay, look, we're going to help you, but you have to swim towards us. Because if you, if you don't, you're going to pull us down as well. And it's usually the people that swim will be the first ones to get on the craft. And then they'll come back and the rest. But sometimes people on people want the rescue, but they aren't prepared to do a bit of swimming mm. to help themselves so that you can help them. And it's about identifying that. It's not to say that you shouldn't help anyone. I think we're all service-oriented people and we'll always be the probably always the first ones in to that will be wanting to help. But sometimes to Manoj's point is understanding, okay, what level of help can you really give this person given what they need and what you have to give? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, as I said, and I completely agree. And you know what? It comes back to what I do, right? In terms of the business that I'd have. Okay. And I, so you won't believe this. And, and some people might think you're, you've gone mad, right? Because when my couples say to me, and, and I'll tell you, this is how I do it. I, when I start my meeting, this is what I say. What do you want out of me? Right. And they're like, oh, is there a reason why we have to have a two-hour meeting? I said, yeah, because you have to feel comfortable with me in order for me to provide my service. And I need to feel comfortable with you. And they said, what do you mean? 
you need to feel comfortable with me. I'm like, mate, I don't care if you give me a thousand pounds, but if I don't want to be, if I don't like you and I don't want to be at your wedding, that thousand pounds means nothing to me because I've just wasted eight hours of my time, right? Just thinking, okay, well, I didn't really want to be here. I've got the money, but that money does nothing to me, right? Because I'm not actually consciously there. So it's, it's and, and, and to, I don't care what I charge, but, you know, it's, I do it because my first priority is service and I'm not exchanging it for money. And then, of course, you get paid for it. And I do understand that's my livelihood. But I think when people are, and, and I'm not going to name any names, but there are so many people doing uh, lives on Facebook, on Instagram. But I've realized it's, that all they're doing is actually in exchange for business, right? They're doing it because, oh, yeah, we're going to promote ourselves. We're going to do this. But they're doing it to get more bookings. And again, there's so, nothing wrong with that. But then you're wrong with that. But what you, no, no, but Saga, what you beautifully articulated is the whole purpose of why we set this up, right? Because we, we, we actually have disclaimers before we start all of our uh, sessions where we're not interested um, in promotion, selling, cross-selling, upselling, any type of selling. In fact, we'll ban you from um, ban ban you from coming to the group um, if, if you talk about your 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 personal business or, on that. So we're not about that. So I think what you've articulated really really nicely is that why this group was set up in the first place is just to serve. It's purely to serve. And in fact, how many people, isn't it beautiful that how many people, again, not mentioning any names, the individual who did obviously share and open up um, what he shared, there was probably pretty much every single person, right, who was still still on the call said, in one way or shape or form, mate, I can completely feel what you're feeling. If, if you need help and support, even out of the context of this session, um, there was about 20 suggestions um, that, 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 that were, were given not prescriptions, suggestions based on people who have gone through something similar or the same thing themselves. And then how many people actually said to the person, feel free to um, contact me later on. That proves that this is all service-based, right? This, this is... That's exactly, look, so I don't forget, okay. And, and again, thank you so much for everyone that joins and, and put in their videos. I think today was a very uh, large turnout, right? I think like 20, you said, Havan, right? Yeah, 20. Um, but let's put them aside slightly uh -huh. we've been three hours right coming up to three hours two o'clock mainly right three pretty hours much. yeah pretty much our time but let me put it this way how wonderful like do we feel we're not getting paid for this right but every single comment you know when we, we we're on this before we do our live our energy is <laughs> right and we, i think if we charged for it we would have been very, very time conscious because we'll be constantly 12.30 off. That's what we're charging for, right? But then we wouldn't be able to give our full energy, our full potential in actually serving the people that are actually on our Zoom because on our mind, it'd be like, it's nearly 12.30. We're only charging for an hour and a half. I but think the difference is huh? we're not seeing this as a transactional exchange. We're seeing this as almost a transformational, transcendental exchange of energy. And it's beautiful, right? I mean, yeah, I, absolutely. I was so Somebody, happy, but I feel like I can, I'm on that other note. I don't think I'm going to go sleep now. Somebody, um, somebody shared something um, and um, they said that what is the sense of feeling you get? And again, there's no judgment expectation, but it was just a, it was, it was just an interesting, curious question. When you buy the latest phone, let's say, for example, um, the sense of gratification you get when you get an upgrade on the phone, or you buy the latest phone compared to what is the feeling that you receive or experience or get, however you want to phrase that question, when you help someone in life without anything in, in return? And I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no comparison, right? Yes, I get a, a microsecond buzz of maybe um, I've got that upgrade, et cetera, and, 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 and that's what I used to do with my you know, current phone that I'm on right now. Um, but I thought, hang on a minute, compared to the feeling that what you get when you help someone, and the, the most beautiful feeling is, when no one knows about it, when you don't put it on Facebook, when you don't put it on Instagram, when you don't put it on YouTube, when you don't talk about it, even in this live right now, um, and you just help someone, and no one needs to know. But that feeling is unexplainable, right, that you get from helping someone. And I think that's the whole essence of why we do what we do and why our partners and our other halves and our siblings and whoever's living with us are wondering what the hell do they do every two weeks on a Saturday. They start from 11 o'clock. 
but they start doing pre-labs from 10.30, they finish at one, well, in this case, we finished, uh, I don't know, well, sorry, 12.30 we're supposed to finish, we finished at 1.20ish, or, or half an hour over, and we're still talking. And then we have a planning session straight after this, and, and, and our own debrief session, and it just, it just lights you up, right? You, you, you do it for the right intention. And, and, and yeah, I just wanted to share that. Like it's, it's, it's no other reason other than that. And um, the whole reason why we started this for anybody who's new, I always say this because it's always new people watching is that each of us have gone through something personal in our journey that's affected us profoundly uh, from a mental health perspective. And for whatever reason, there was or wasn't anyone there for us. So we created a space to share it's not our space. We always say this, we don't own it. We created it, but we definitely don't own it. Um, and, and it's proven by the topics don't come from us. In fact, 90% of the topics, the suggestions come from the men who say, let's talk about this, let's talk about this. And that's why all the topics that we have, we publish them in advance. Um, I think we've got four or five, I think the next one's reflections next and one's realizations. Like reflections and realizations, which is, which is gonna be a, a big one. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I think, I think just you know, as we sign off on, on this topic, I think the biggest takeaways that, that I think for me are coming out of, out of this conversation is that I think ultimately it comes down to valuing what you value and firstly knowing, getting to that place of awareness of what is it that you truly value from a, from a money mindset perspective, like what are your needs versus your wants? And then begin to create a structure process or even just look at the story of, what is blocking you from what you need? What stories do you have about money, about rich people? Rich people are bad. Well, if, if you feel rich people are bad, then guess what? You've just created that association to money being bad. So I think it's just taking that pause to reflect and realize what money is for you right now and what you want it to mean for you. And then begin the process of whether it's affirmations, realization, strategy, just taking the time to, to reflect and, and recreate that money mindset that it serves you and that you're open and willing to receive whatever you want to receive and take actions that are going to take you towards that. An action, an action being the operative word in the same sentence as positive mindset, right? It go hand in hand, right? It's a natural um, um, mindset means nothing without action. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I think we should wrap up because I'm a little bit exhausted. Um, I need some food. Um, I'm sure you guys are exhausted as well, and we're probably going to speak to each uh -huh. other. And we're call, call, is that your third one right now? When I, I rang you early in the morning, you still got the same. <laughs> is that your third? <laughs> okay. Oh, so here's my, um, here's my lemon and ginger tea. My coffee. Okay, he's 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 got different cups for different things. He's got his old thing going on. But listen, thank you so much um, for everyone who contributed. First of all, thank you for all the men who showed up, all twenty of them. Um, as usual, we had. We had um, uh, men from all around the world, all, all around the UK, uh, all over the uh, basically place. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for you know showing up. If you don't show up, we can't do what we do, which is um, to attempt to do something small and um, use our time wisely um, in the mode of service, just trying to help somebody. Why do we help someone? Because we don't want another man to be a statistic to suicide. Um, so that's the whole, that, that's the end game, right? Um, life is too precious. Thank you so much. Uh, massive shout out to all the women in the group. Always, always, always shout out to the women's schools. I think about 30% of our Facebook uh, group here uh, following is actually women, if not more, uh, if not more. So thank you so much for sharing it with uh, a man in your life. And thank you for, I think we had two or three new members today in terms of, um, I say members, not members, sorry, uh, men showing up because there is no membership. Um, I don't know why I said members, um, but there is no memberships, but just men showing up and we love when we see new faces and we love when we see people who, who come back. And we also love when we don't see people because it's okay to come in and out, right? The whole point we publish our uh, events um, live up front is if you don't resonate with some of them, then it's, it's okay. And, and, and you might not make it because of logistics and timing. But if you resonate with a subject and a, to a topic sounds interesting to you, lock it in, book it in, like book it in, it's free. Like it, it, we will never charge for it. We, we say this on every single live. We will, we don't, we're not planning to charge for it and we never will charge for it. So thank you so much for everyone. Uh, please keep sharing, liking, not for the followers, but just to help us reach another man to help them open up and share about their mental health journey because 
what everyone experienced today, like they always experience every two weeks, is just phenomenal. Don't take our word for it. Speak to the men who actually show up in the chat, and then you will see how much impact it has created in their lives because they keep showing up. They keep showing up every single two weeks. I was just going to say, is it six months since our first meeting? Since February. February. Uh, Official. Mm -hmm. Officially, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In one, didn't we? In, Sorry, we had the in-person one at the manor, the very first one we did. I just wondered. The that's... first, the first ever one that we had uh, was at Watford Temple. Yeah, the manor. Um, yeah, and then um, it's fair to say that our aspiration wasn't to do it every two weeks. If we're if we're honest, it was to do it like once a month because of the current situation. Um, we saw that as a opportunity to connect even more frequently and now we run it every two weeks and then oh. some weeks we run what we call add-on or bonus sessions where we're actually running it every week so yeah. who knows we, we might be running it every week i'm not going to put it out there but let's see but if, if listen if, if people want it every week we'll run it every week right but um yeah i, I don't think any of us is going to shy away from that because we love what we do and like saga said we light up with energy every single time that when we when we show up and we're learning so much from the from the men right i mean there's so many notes i made i'm sure you guys made so many notes the chat was just off the chart right so i'm um, looking forward to sort of um do, you know setting that up sagar um something you mentioned last week i think um we probably i think we're very close right on the youtube channel yes uh, a week a week away would you say a week away Hope, hoping to launch it next Saturday. Uh, so just got a few more bits to do and, and we'll put it up on the uh, Mindful Men's uh, Club chat. I'm um, sorry, our, our pay Facebook page. Uh, we'll also, um, we've got everyone's emails addresses. So we'll email everyone uh, with the link and we'll also um, put it on, up on the Instagram um, page as well. So there are going to be various platforms that uh, you can connect. And it's, the, it's giving you the opportunity that it's not just managed by us. We want you guys to manage it. And it's, it's an open platform. So if you feel like you've come across something on YouTube uh, that you want to share with, the, uh, with our channel, then literally sh uh, send the share across the link. And one of us will actually have a look at it before we post it, um, just because we want to make sure it's, it's relevant to Mindful Men's Club and not just a random um share so please you know as i said we want you guys to get involved and hopefully we can create such an amazing playlist uh that people can refer to and not have to wait every two weeks or every month uh they can refer to anytime they come across an obstacle as i put it um if they need to figure out how to get through that obstacle then hopefully one of the playlists um will help them and um, just maybe just think even more you know to that higher frequency or whatever um and again i, I just want to um before my just finish i wanted to finish off and, and I, I think i'm going to do this every week because people do forget it um and that is you know um spend every day and live every day with the quote why worry and that is do you have a problem in life if the answer is yes can you do something about it if the answer is yes then why worry do you have a problem in life? No, then why worry? Do you have a problem in life? Can you do something about it? No, then why worry? So I, I, I live by that. Some people think that I live by that a bit too much, but I actually do not worry. I think this is why no, I, I do age. Look, I'm, I'm going to be 14 in two weeks. I don't know about it. Why worry? That's not, uh, doesn't understand good writing. That means I've got my... <laughs> Yeah, and you've got to translate that, yeah? We, we, we don't only have a Gujarati audience. I'm not, I'm not passing the subtitles yet. <laughs> it looked like when I was five years old, I haven't changed. <laughs> but now, thank you guys again. I'll, I'll let Manoj finish off or Viraj finish off. But thank you so much. And, you know, please do reach out. As Manoj was saying, um, it's your sharing that's uh, reaching out to a lot more people. And indirectly, uh, you don't know how many people you are helping. And every week or every two weeks we see more people join um whether they actually join or they're getting emails and, and joined our um, facebook group um you know thank you and it's, it's it's because of you and especially all the women out there um you know it doesn't have to be your husband boyfriend um you might have a family member who's a who's a man 
and if you feel like this is going to help them then you know you just send the link and it's up to them whether they want to attend or not so you know we don't force anyone so thank you so much guys and i'll um, leave it to these guys to finish off no thank you i think i think you've said pretty much everything just to touch on that um uh, massive shout out um to all the women and also if you want to go on a group where it's just for women then please go to our sister group on facebook um it's uh, if you can put it on the chat or, uh, the page it's mental wealth yeah. um, and they're on facebook and we wouldn't be here without them so there is a community uh that, you know run for women by amazing uh, women um, so if they, you know, if, if again, if you're, it goes both ways, right? So if you're a man and you know a woman who's going through a battle that no one knows anything about, please point them to the group called Mental Wealth on our Facebook. Um, I think on that note, um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up because, oh uh, yeah, we, we can talk for ages, right? You were supposed to call me last week, Saigo. So um, uh, yeah, yeah, have some food and we'll we'll catch up. We'll catch up. Yeah, no, no. But clearly, I then went to Why Worry, and I was like, I'll call you. <laughs> No, you don't have to call me every time because it's something to do with that. You could just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> have a chat. Ciao. But no, cool. Let's uh, thank you so much. Have a really, really, really blessed weekend. And um, yeah, whatever you get up to, be present and enjoy and look after yourselves and be kind to each other. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.